Hello YouTube, back again uh, just for a short video. Um, I was talking with Dylan, uh, Jesus the Tree of Life, and uh, I thought I'd say tell a little story how I started collecting. Uh, in the background we've got uh, Legend of Zelda, so I'm going to play this after the video. I'm going to start my quest to save Hyrule, so yeah, it's the N64 version. But yeah, how it started. This is the game. This is a game that started my whole collecting. This Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. This. Um, I, I picked this up when it released. Uh, when was it? 2008, 2009, something like that. Let me check. Um, it doesn't say, but yeah, I think it was around that time I got this. And um, last year I picked it. I um, I got rid of it a while later, and then last year I picked it up again on eBay for about eight pound, eight to ten pound. I picked this up, and uh, when I when I was playing this game, I thought to myself, how cool would it be? To pick up these individual titles in their original format, like in a box complete form. Like, so all these titles as a pile of Mega Drive games. So I decided to do that. And um, as I was searching for these games on eBay, I was coming across other Mega Drive games I've never heard of. So I got suckered in. I thought, oh, I'll get that. I'll try that one as well. I'll try that and I'll try this and that. And then it just started because originally I wanted to. I thought, oh, wouldn't it? I thought I'd go for a full Mega Drive set. I thought I'd get all the Mega Drive games. I mean, I was looking on YouTube at uh, video game collections, and I came across uh, X File Twenty Seven Oh Eight, which he's sadly gone now. And then I found Ninja Bear Hug. Then I f typed in rare Mega Drive games. That's how I found Ashley Escort with his um, Mega Mega Six Volume Three. Then I found the rarest one, which was the Lakers, which was his video as well. And I thought, oh, there's some rare games. I didn't know there'd be rare games for these consoles. And I was on the, I was on the hunt. So I was ho ho hoping I'd come across some of these games, these rare ones. And then, boom! This is it's all to this now. Almost, almost holding games. I am. So yeah, I wanted, I wanted to get all the titles in uh, from that game. So I've got Sonic 2, uh, Revenge of Shinobi, uh, Decap Attack. Streets of Rage, I've got and one and two. Rice Star and uh, Dynamite Heady. There's just a few from that from that game. There are a few more that I've got, like the Sonics and stuff like that. And uh, the first the first rare game I come across was Flink. I uh, paid about thirty quid for that. So yeah, that's how it started to this mental. But then I real and I was coming across. These expensive games, well, these are they're really pricey Mega Drive because I started collecting at a really bad point, like when the prices were bumping up and the the postal price was increasing. So really, it was bad timing. Really, there's now post the post a Mega Drive game. It's like only three pounds to post just one, and uh, some games nowadays go for a minimum of five pound each. That's nearly a tenner a game. So um, I, I backed away from Mega Drive for a bit. I thought I'd slow down. It's a, it's a bloody bankrupt me, so I, I stepped away, and, I, and, I, and I, as I stepped away from it, I went to downtown, looking down my local high street, looking in their CEX, and I, came, I saw, I noticed they're still selling PS2 games. So I had a look, and I come across loads that were like 70p, 50p a pound. I thought these are cheap. This is more feasible for me. So I picked a whole stack up, and that's where my PS2 games started. Increasing, so and I thought to myself, because these are more affordable, more feasible, I thought I'd go for a full PS2 collection, and that's how all this started uh, growing. So yeah, and at, at the same time, I was picking up games for other consoles like PS1 and uh, the Wii and Nintendo 64, GameCube and stuff like that. Just getting the odd, odds and sods, whatever. So yeah, now it's like some old ultimate collection. 
I thought it'd be cool to become one of these elite collectors with like the really, really, really good stuff, like expensive stuff. Like, yeah, I thought it'd be cool to be like that, have like really amazing collections where everyone, everyone in the uh, gaming community knows about me. Everyone knows about my massive collection. So, so yeah, that's how that's how it all kicked off for me. But yeah, I, I finished with that. That was a like five minute story. I show. I thought I'd show uh, Dylan my spare, or my doubles of PS2 games if you're interested, like for trades or any, anyone else. Anyone sees one that they need, that they want to do a swap with me. More than welcome to make an offer. So this is what I've got. I've got um, they're all they're all complete. They're all boxed and complete and in in a good shape. They're in good enough shape. Some like light surface mark where it's not scratched it's just where it's been played like the machine naturally scratches discs doesn't it you can tell if it's a, scrap, a natural scratch or it's been mis uh, mistreated so yeah they're all they're all complete so yeah we've got um pirates the legend of black cat we've got midnight club 2 well, I'll show you they're the complete just to just to prove it Got Pixar cars. Super Buster Move. This is a quality game. I like this one. I like the Buster Move series. We've got Peter Pan, uh, The Legend of Neverland. Donald Duck, Quack Attack. Uh, this one's a bit scratched, I'd say, but um, but it plays fine. I've checked it; it plays spot on. Um, Desert Storm Two, um, Resident Evil Four, uh, the tin edition. It's a bit, it's a bit bent, if you can see, but it it opens fine. Yeah, it's got um. Both the manuals. Uh, GTA San Andreas complete, and with the map. Got Golden Eye, Rogue Agent. Time Splitters 1 uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty It's complete but it's missing the um, the uh, extra disc it doesn't have the uh, making of it like the um, exclusive disc but I don't know if that means anything to any, anyone uh, Smackdown Shut Your Mouth Complete and with the um, what do you call it? Advertisements. A game probably not. A game probably no nobody wants. Uh, FIFA 06. Another sports title. Rugby 2004. Another sports title. Arsenal. Club football. Um. Without warning, uh, this one's missing the manual, it, but it comes with a uh, Capcom releases. Which, in fact, I might keep that. I, I don't think I've got that. But yeah, this one's missing the manual. Ace Combat, Squadron Leader. Harry Potter, the prisoner of Azkaban, as Azkaban, Platinum, Star Wars, the video game. Uh, the reason I picked these up, like I picked these up in charity shops for cheap. I picked them up as um, a trade folder because I knew if I pick them up for like fifty p or a pound, or whatever, or less than a pound, I know I can uh, take them to CEX and 
get get more so I can trade them in for something I do want. So, but I thought I'd offer them to you guys first. Let's see if any of you want. Them. So yeah, Star Wars Platinum. It's all there. The manual's a bit peel, uh, curling a bit on the front page, but the rest of it's fine. Uh, we've got Kill Zone again. The manual's a bit bit wrinkled, like folded over. Yeah, okay, Kill Zone one. We've got another Kill Zone, which is in a nicer condition. Um, Alone in the Dark, uh, the New Nightmare. So you can destroy. The Mark of Cree, Call of Duty Free, with the manual and advertisements, Spin to Cell, Chaos Theory, uh, Medal of Honor, Missing the Manual, The Rising Sun, Tony Hawk's Proving Grounds. Grand Turismo 4. Uh, I think this one's a bit scratched. Yeah, it is, but it, but it plays fine. It plays fine. You can always get them buffed up, like at um, Game Station. Another Rugby 2004. Virtual Tennis 2. Star Wars Bounty Hunter Spin to Cell, Pandora Tomorrow Sonic Heroes, Platinum Call of Duty 2, the big red one Complete and with um, advertisements which fell out TG Daredevil. I picked this up recently, but it turns out I've already got it, so I bumped it in the pile. Or trades. Uh, collector's edition, King Kong. It's complete, but it's missing the um, the special disc, the making of the game disc, and it's, it hasn't got the um, the movie cards, the little photo cards, and it hasn't got the slip 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 cover sleeve. Which reveals the back of the box, which is on, which isn't on this bit. So yeah, don't know if anybody wants that. Um, another San Andreas Platinum complete. And lastly, Kingdom Hearts, which is missing the manual. So yeah, that's all my doubles, Dylan. If you're interested in any of them, just let me know. So yeah, that's my video for today. Thanks for watching. Peace. I'm going to go and save Hyrule.